In these videos, we're going to learn how to prove that particular facts about integers are true. In mathematics, a proof is a justification that something is true. It's a uh, formal or verbal argument that fully demonstrates that a mathematical fact is true based on uh, agreed upon definitions and theorems. So in these proofs, we're going to be proving facts about the integers, and we're going to take these as the definitions of the words even, odd, and divisible. So an integer n is even if there exists an integer k such that n can be written as 2 times k. For example, the number 8 can be written as 2 times 4. n is odd if there exists an integer k such that n is equal to 2k plus 1. For example, 11 is equal to 2 times 5 plus 1. And finally, we'll say that n is divisible by the non-zero integer a if there exists an integer k such that we can write n equals a times k. For example, 33 is divisible by 3. We would write that as 3 divides 33 because 33 can be written as 3 times 11. So this is notation for saying that a divides n. We can talk about proofs all day, but the easiest way to learn how to write them is to just do it. Uh, so here is a theorem. If n is an odd integer, then 2n squared plus n plus 1 is going to be even. So notice that the statement we're proving has the form if p then q. So what I want to do is I want to start by assuming my antecedent. So in our proof, we're going to start by saying let n be odd. So we start by assuming any hypotheses that we're given. All right, well, what does it mean to be odd? So our next step is to unpack the definition of the word odd. Odd means that there exists an integer k such that n is equal to 2k plus 1. Notice that I'm not using an example. Right? It would be wrong of me to just plug in n equals 5 and show that 2 times 5 squared plus 5 plus 1 is an even number because I'm not talking about just the integer 5, I'm talking about any odd integer, so I want to be as general as possible. Okay, now that I've assumed that n has the form 2k plus 1, I'm going to take that and do something with it. So the goal of my theorem is to prove that this is even. So I'm going to take my n's and replace them all with 2k plus 1's. And now I'm just going to do some algebra and show that what I'm left with is an even integer. Remember, even means 2 times an integer m. So what I want to do is I want to prove that I can write this expression as 2 times something that's an integer. An integer might be a sum or a product or a power of other integers. Remember that when we expand 2k plus 1 squared it's got a middle term so this is going to be uh, 4k squared plus 2 times 2k times 1 which is 4k plus 1 squared which is just 1 plus 2k plus 1 plus 1 then we distribute our 2 so we get 8k squared plus 8k plus 2 plus 2k plus 1 plus 1 and this collapses to 8k squared plus 10k plus 4. I expect most people watching this video can take a look at this and go, oh yeah, that's an even integer because every number in it is divisible by 2. Uh, however, we are trying to justify to our reader that this is definitely an even integer, and our reader or our viewer might find it easier to recognize that an even integer is 2 times some other integer. So let's take that extra step to factor out the 2. 4k squared plus 5k plus 2. And this is even. Therefore, if n is odd, then n, 2n squared plus n plus 1 is even. And so our last step is going to be to restate the theorem.